Thank you for checking out this video. My name is Josh Henry. I am a maker of bows for violin, viola, cello, and bass. I am doing this video today to demonstrate a new tool and to show some modifications that I've made to it. We are going to be looking at the Peppy Tools Guillotine Shear, the 6 inch shear, the model number 196.90N. So um, I'm going to shift the camera angle and show you what it can do. Alright, here is the Peppy Tools Guillotine Shear, the 6 inch. So the couple modifications that I did. First thing was I added a scale here. I ground it to come up all the way to the blade, so this makes a perfect 90 degree here. I, I drilled holes and tapped and screwed that on there because I'm pretty much always working with a 90 degree uh, cut. A couple other things I did. On the back, I added, uh, I made a tray and added in there to catch the cutoffs and the scrap that falls under there because that's it's a bit of a bit of a reach in there. The biggest modification that I did was I took the depth gauge that came with this tool and this foot here is part of the original but I modified a digital a digital gauge and added a bracket here so I could get precision on the depth of cut. So I can put that in, I can zero it out I can move it back to whatever gauge, I'm sorry, to whatever depth I want. I can turn this and lock it in place and stick my, stick my material in up to that stop and that will, that will make a very accurate depth of cut. So I want to demonstrate, I want to demonstrate uh, today, uh, I make I make frogs for violin, viol, cello bows. This is a, a frog that I'm in the process of making. So I'm going to cut the pieces for the ferrule here on this on this frog. So I've got a few pieces of stock of 18 gauge, 22 gauge. When I buy this, normally in four by six inch sheets. So this this shear works extremely well on the 18 gauge. So I'm going to make a depth of cut first off of, um, let's see, I'm going to pull this back. I want a depth of cut to 14. Set that exactly where I want. This measures to the hundredth of millimeter or thousandths of an inch, so it's quite. Uh, so that's about 14 and a half millimeters. So I stick my my stock in there. Ah. Normally I would have that bolted down on on my uh, t table, but. So there's one piece right there. And this one, 16 and a half. There. There we go. That's much easier. That was 22 gauge. So here, here are my two pieces to start. And now those, those are the the raw material, I'll cut them in to make repetitive cuts of all the right size. Move this one down. There. One. larger. Mm. 
All right. So right here is enough silver material to make six of, of these pieces right there. So that's the advantage. That was the whole reason I took the trouble to make a, a digital depth gauge. Saves a lot of time and I'm very pleased with the results. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Peppy Tools guillotine shear, the 6 inch number 19690N. Thank you very much. This is Josh Henry.